Uh, my name is David Cole, uh, and I wanted to welcome you to the, the Whipple House, 6606 North Whipple. Uh, this is here in the Chicago's West Ridge neighborhood on the north side. And uh, this is one of RevDev's premier projects in the area. Uh, here shortly will be uh, Ramiro Munoz, the CEO of uh, RevDev and the project manager here to tell you all about the project. But for now, I just wanted to show you some images of what it looked like before and during the project. Welcome to our RevDev home. This is a project called 6606 North Whipple. Fascinating thing about this project is one, first and foremost, its location. Uh, West Rogers Park is uh, primarily known as an acidic neighborhood, and we have what we're only half a block away from West Rogers Elementary School. And we, our, our goal for this property was to uh, maximize the the space because. Families do come in here and they do request for more living spaces. So we dug down into the basement and that gave us an entire floor. We raised the roof and that gave us a, a, a full second floor. So we were able to get uh, just over 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, um, in what was a hollow brick shell. With that, um, let's, let's take you everywhere to the rest of the house and, and see where, uh, where the rest of the story leads us. One of the highlights of this home is the kitchen, uh, where we took the opportunity to look at every detail, um, from the layout to the appliances, the cabinet selection. Uh, you know, and one of the biggest features is you'll see that this has two sinks and two dishwashers. Um, so, you know, I guess uh, the, the reason for that being that since this is uh, a primarily a Hasidic neighborhood, if you wish, uh, Orthodox Jewish by that means, and uh, they, they're, uh, that market caters to two separate dishwashers and um, sinks. And as you can see, we didn't, uh, we, we definitely took that to another level, and we have here um, a chef's kitchen faucet, not just on the double sink, but also on the single fruit bowl sink typically, but you know, also for kosher foods. So uh, that was definitely a highlight that uh, we found out from our market, from our retail buyers, from our real estate agent, uh, from the very beginning, uh, initial research. And you know, uh, the product is, is something that we are very proud of. Uh, we have these espresso shaker cabinets, uh, local distributor, uh, less than 500 miles, so this is a green product. We also have a stainless steel package um, of uh, appliances. Again, not just the range and the, and the hood, um, the oven hood, but also the French door uh, Samsung fridge. And as you can see, this is uh, extended width, so it, is, it, it does have more space than your typical refrigerator. Um, and then you have the two dishwashers and the two sinks, uh, as, far, as well as this uh, quartz countertop with this beveled edge. So we took into consideration every detail. The beveled edge gives a more traditional look and the stark contrast between the white and the espresso shaker cabinets and uh, even uh, along with the uh, African walnut flooring. This is sustainable African walnut flooring. Uh, I would term this as one of my sexiest floors I've ever seen. <laughs> 
So uh, with that, let's, let's see what else we have to, uh, to see. Another highlight that we'd like to speak about is uh, the staging. Staging is an integral part of the RevDev brand and, and, and what we choose uh, our projects to, to uh, how, they, how we choose to portray them. Um, Phoenix Staging uh, has uh, a vision. Uh, the core can clearly communicate the vision that RevDev communicates. Everything from you know the type of furniture selection, the accessories, the wall accessories, the, the uh, furniture mounted accessories, foliage, uh, everything from how it's set up. It gives people, and most people cannot see this far into a home uh, when it's uh, gutted. So Romero, what did this house look like when you bought it? Oh, this house um, was gutted entirely to the studs. Uh, there, you could see the brick, you could see open studs. This uh, level was to my head, so I could not be here. As you can see, this was the, you can see the old, uh, this is the top of the roof, not the bottom. So you're, you're putting it up, it was even lower than this. And then we couldn't get beyond uh, halfway through the house, so this was just more of an attic space. And what we did here is we raised the roof here. Um, we did have challenges. We had, uh, we purchased the home with, complete, with uh, architectural drawings that were in the permit process. And quickly we switched architects. Um, in the process of switching architects, we also noted some uh, issues with the roof layout. Uh, and the new architect, along with our contractor, um, were able to come up with a plan that was able to give us not only a, a, an appropriate roof height or ceiling height for the top floor bedrooms, but more importantly, give us this beautiful, massive uh, cathedral ceiling. Uh, a feature uh, that uh, RevDev uh, prides itself on putting in at least one room in the house. This is, the master bathroom is also filled with travertine marble. I'm sorry, this travertine tile. This is not marble, this is travertine. And travertine, a very special, uh, very special uh, material for me, uh, specifically because uh, you find it in, at least I find it in very key points in, in, in my life. Uh, when I studied in Rome, there was travertine tile all around. Uh, when I was in Mexico, uh, I'm originally from Mexico, there's travertine tile um, in different quarries. Uh, I did uh, stop by Turkey and I was able to, to see uh, the ivory travertine in Turkey, which is a stark white. And so I like the character. You see that uh, you know no two uh, travertine stones are the same, but yet they come from very special places. So this is bringing you know, a sense of history, a timeless uh, sense of history to our projects, to every level. Uh, and you know, it, 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 this uh, travertine tile also contrasts appropriately with the um, espresso shaker cabinets, steel poles, and then uh, port Carrara quartz countertop, which is a sustainable material. One of the things that I didn't mention about the quartz countertop is that it's actually, it does not emit radon. Um, and whereas uh, granite countertops do. So it's actually better for, for, for uh, your health. It's better for, a, it's a better prepping service. Uh, and, it's, and it's also better for bathrooms. Hey, Ramiro, would you be able to show me and tell me a little bit about, this is my favorite room that we're about to enter over here. What, what, what was the idea behind this room? So this room, uh, this room was um, a very interesting concept because before there's one window coming uh, straight through in the front, and you can see then on either side of that, so that it brings in natural light, and on either side you have a, you have a spaces that can either be used for closet or study. As you can see, a nice little detail that we added is our, our the, uh, the wood vents 
these wood vents don't you don't always find. Uh, you know, mostly contractors will put in uh, your typical uh, white or uh, you know metal vents over top. Okay, so welcome to the lower level. This is a family room, recreation room. As you can see, we have uh, you know great space for the TV, ample seating. Uh, we have a, a separate seating here. As you can see, we interrupted a game of poker and um, or Texas Hold'em, kick the guys out, and uh, you know it, it has room for a bar area. There is a uh, bathroom on the other side, so we did leave it plumbed for a wet bar in the event that that is something that uh, uh, the new homeowners would like. Um, this, as you can see, there are also columns here that separate. So. One, uh, one buyer that we had during the pre-construction phase wanted th this to be an extra bedroom. And as you can see, we definitely thought that out. And this could definitely be an extra bedroom where you could walk in here, there'd be, a there'd be a wall here with a closet, and the door would swing out, and what we're looking at would be a bedroom. Um, we decided not to do that because the power of the family room uh, and this just lower level completely separate from the living, from the uh, first floor entry living and greeting space and then the third floor or the second floor um, bedrooms you know this just leaves it for more of a recreational area so you can see it's carpeted uh, with a nice honeycomb uh, carpet or oh, that's not flush but it's a, it's, a, it's a honeycomb it feels nice and soft yes it feels very nice and soft it's very comfortable it's very warm here uh, one of the things that I'm going to call attention to is this ledge here on the side. This ledge was the old foundation. So as you can see, we took uh, over 14 inches, 14 to 15 inches, uh, we lowered this space, which gives us about six feet tall. So this space is about eight and a half feet tall. Um, and that gives, that makes this a livable space. Uh, furthermore, we, uh, or a, we, we dug out the, the space, uh, this, we dig out the, the basement, we added new gravel, sand underneath, and a new concrete slab all around. Uh, in addition, uh, there were uh, trench drains all around, drain tile, and um, this, this came from flashing. The way we did it is we really uh, took an extra step and we looked at all the the entire perimeter wall and were able to uh, provide a, a, a place for what water is going to get into every building every building in Chicago and so what we did is we provided a place for that water to go that's not inside the home we gave we made uh, cracks and tunnel and and, um, and put perforated hoses in there and that led water through the waterproofing underneath and so this drain tile then steers the water to the ejector pit and that ejector pit pumps the water out so when you know all the neighbors may be getting seepage if there is flooding this place is watertight and that it, this is uh these this is best practices that we've received uh from information from permaseal from us product proofing uh and more importantly our contractor who our general contractor who has uh, great experience with this and has um, waterproofed many homes. Uh, why, is this, why is this fresh nickel? That sounds, <laughs> I thought this one was uh, going to be a different, well they did have a different one on here. They did at one point, yes, and then uh, I think they ended up having to change it. Um, but I like to keep everything, the, either the brush chrome or the, or the satin chrome on mm -hmm. um, these because I think that they blend better normally. Uh, with everything else that we do, especially since we do these dual dual flush toilets, and you can't change this piece out on uh, most of them. So yeah, if you have one piece that is chrome, then you probably should do everything chrome. I agree. So yeah, Romero, I wanted to thank you very much for taking us through your project. Uh, this was a, a real treat. It looks like you have done a lot of amazing stuff with this uh, with this building, coming I mean, from uh, studs to an, a magnificent mansion like this. So thank you very much for your time and uh, uh, letting us see another one of your projects. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Dave. And uh, just so you know, you know, we definitely invite you uh, to uh, 
uh, become a part of the power of real estate and how you can also help revitalize communities, um, create uh, living experiences that people can celebrate their entire lives in, and uh, work with a large team of professionals that, that uh, is, is, are very capable and willing and love what they do um, and, and, and join in, in the success. And, uh, in doing so, uh, you can feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is, uh, my number is 312-725-2099. Uh, I always make myself available um, and uh, look forward to hearing from you if you're interested. And feel free to take a look and visit their website here on the bottom of the screen here, as well as their Facebook page. And we will uh, see you uh, the next video. Have a good one.